Ah, I'm gonna have yours all the same seller. I got me um green bad sector, the Western Digital one terabyte off. Um, yeah, less there's, there's another two one terabyte Sam scum hard drives again for sale. Sure, trying to get rid of them. I messaged him saying the, the WD I got of him had bad sectors. He's like, oh crap. And so um, he offered to replace it. Then that ended up giving me his two remaining one terabyte um, Sam scum hard drives. One of which is in really good condition, which is uh, I put in an enclosure. That was uh, that I got one good hard drive to replace a bad Western Digital. So you chucked in two hard drives to replace that one. This one is a HD 103UJ. One terabyte 7200 RPM. The other one terabyte one is um, 5900 RPM. It's a slower drive, but it's in perfectly good shape. No bad sectors whatsoever. 2009, that one here was, and this one is in 2007. This is an earlier one. But yeah, it's a bad sector, it's Sam Scum. It's a little uh, star of my bad sector Seagate. I can make a three, three terabyte um, array of those together with Windows 10, make a three terabyte storage thing with them. So yeah, it was good. I ended up getting two hard drives to replace the bad sector one, and I got one good, really good condition hard drive out of it, out of the lot, so I'm happy with that. This I uh, used recover. I couldn't get much off of that. I couldn't recover anything off the um, hard drives this time. Which was a bit of a shame. There was lots of, uh, he had movies and everything on him, so it'd be interesting to see what I could get off him. Uh, also got one of these Christmas presents. Quite a good, good, pretty uh, powerfully loud little Bluetooth speaker. It's a Chinese clone of a um, oh, of a sound drum. So I decided to get one of these. I wanted to get one for a while. I bought a um. A Bluetooth modular Fibo too, which is a lot better, cheaper than this was, the one on Fibo. Yeah, it's a lot better quality and more powerful, but it's just a bare Bluetooth amplifier module, which I'm going to integrate into a custom system. And, and that runs stereo and everything as well, so I could have two, four or eight ohm speakers on it. And this and there is only a low power, probably a two or, two or three ohm, I'm guessing, because it's only a half amp hour battery. And it plays for five hours, the battery lasts on that. Five hours playtime. Charges in two hours, it's got a 520 milliamp hour battery in it. Um, three watt speaker has the output power. It's pretty damn loud. Two put one Bluetooth version. So, the module I'm getting a feedback when it arrives. I can, it's up to 24 volts, I can make a little jig to run off um, cordless dual batteries. Make a really powerful Bluetooth uh, boombox, worksite type boombox. I might hook it up, integrate it with car speakers. I might let it um, interconnect on the outside of it. I put, I'm designing, I'm trying to want to, want to design like a little board I can mount it on. Then try and make an enclosure for it. And just uh, use it on external speakers and just test any speakers I want with it via Bluetooth. This one there is an FM tuner. FM tuner. <laughs> Chinese accent, English, English accent. Scan it. Put the um. Bloody, like that's painfully bright. It doesn't have an antenna. How do I pick up stations? There's no antenna. That's the only drawback. It works at a 10 metre range, this thing, so it's pretty good. Has a um. optional aux cable via USB, which is good. I can use this for all the non Bluetooth appliances. Aux cable that comes with. It's got charge and auxiliary via USB, so that's good for stuff for like iPods that don't have Bluetooth or anything else that you want to plug into this thing with no Bluetooth on it. Good for that. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. <laughs> the accent's funny. Yeah, quite uh, impressive, the performance of this little thing. I'm quite happy with it. I can, I'm, I'm impressed with it, the power and the volume again of this thing. The distortion is not too bad. You can compare it with a Lapai amp, so it's about the same sort of sound quality. 
happy. You can't turn them up too loud with some music, but the distortion's a bit less than on the Pi when it's up flat out, so I'm happy with it. Good for the little, uh, just chuck it in and, and hide it somewhere and just play it with songs off your phone. It works real well. Now you have to see if it works on the computer though. The Bluetooth dongle on here. Uh, I wonder if I can do it with this. If I turn this on, let's see if this is actual audio through Bluetooth. Um, let's see. Bluetooth device is ready to pair. Bit of background noise. Ah, oh, let's see if that works. That doesn't have anything to do with sound though. I wonder if there's like a little, uh, this was only seems to work. Oh, here we go. Oh, beautiful, it does work. All right, let's do it. That does work, how good's that? This will work with Windows 7 and Windows XP. If you got a Bluetooth USB dongle, you can buy cheaper feedback. You can just pair these to it and have wireless computer speakers. This one is not stereo though, but the um, module I've got coming on a Fibre will work good with this, because that is stereo. Just gotta wait for it, a bit slower on Windows than it is on the phone. Wait for it to pair. Now when it connects, I'll, uh... oh, there we go. Oh, what? Buggers. I'll wait for it to pair. It's just the Bluetooth device is connected uh, successfully. Yeah, it's, it's funny. Distortion's a bit, yeah. The range might depend on the receiver and the transmitter too, so see. Yeah, as you can see, the computer, the range is piss poor. Bad range in the, in the dongle inside the computer. This turns stereo. All right, I'm gonna um, get Audacity going and we'll generate some various tones to test this thing. It's gonna be loud. Right on a minute. Let's get HD Sentinel going. I want to show you the hell for these, uh, this particular Sam Scum drive. It's 59 bad sectors of one weak sector. 41% health, so there yeah, that Sam Scum is pretty bad. But yeah. I was pretty happy to get at least get one good hard drive for a place. The other bad sector one I got in the first place, so I'm happy with it, with what I got. 712 days on that drive. So it was in a raid, part of that raid fire relay that they got the rest of the digital from. 59 bad sectors on this surface, there's one weak sector. As for the two terabytes Seagate, 15 bad sectors. So that's a 5900 RPM drive. Barracuda ES. They were a bit clicky and clunky when they first got it. I asked the guy at the, um, I bought it from the records here, there's older Seagates were a bit clippy and clunky at times. They turned themselves off to save power. It's the see this is the Seagate equivalent of the um, WD Green. So it turns itself off to save power every now and then. But it's a shame that the 7200 RPM of the uh, two Samsungs is a bad sector one. Because I was hoping that, I was hoping to get a good 7200 RPM one terabyte to edit this up score. Other than that WD I got, but it's kind of buggered. Log. Smart, yeah. yeah like it's hotter to speed, it's the 46 degrees. A Seagate speed 47 degrees, it's hotter than it's ever been. Yeah, not the best, not the best for the Sam Scum. So, I'm not going to use that for anything important. Let's get this going. I want to install it first, eh? There is a uh, thing on here that installs it. I'm off to extract them all first. One of these um, zip programs I've got has an install feature which is quite handy. Alright, so we'll let go. Let's find these and then install it. Might be a bit of a long video of yours, but eh, did it. Um, let's still generate a DTF phone tone. Well, that's kind of loud. Uh, noise brown brownian 
I want something bassy now. So let's try... Uh, anyway, she's not too bad to sound this little device. Reverse that track. Arrange. Yeah, it's better with a phone than it is with a computer. You can lock this device away. <laughs> there we go. For better sound effects. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. I can't really play music, I don't have any efficient copy. I've got to find something in the public domain. It's uh, got good bass and stuff to, to really test it, but anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.